welcome, welcome to my store. Thank you so much for being out here. Can I hear a big round of applause for Rashi? Rashi? Rashi is tall. People look up to her. All right, Rashi, welcome, welcome, welcome to my store. How does it feel being out here at my store? Thank you so much for such a lovely introduction and the warm welcome from everyone. Rashi, is this your first time? Have you been to Mysore? Have you had Mysore Park? Have you had Mysore open dosa? Anything about Mysore? I've only had the Mysore uh, masala dosa that they have. Yes. Uh, and this is my first time in Mysore and I love the place. It has a very spa-like feel, so I feel like I'm on a holiday already. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to explore a little bit more of it. Yes. You're glowing and you're looking lovely. Give a big round of applause for Rashi. She'll be doing the honors, giving away the watch. Let's talk to Rashi, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a little bit of fun. Um, right, Rashi, you are a... I hope you don't have rapid fires because I hate them. No, no, <laughs> okay. no. I don't believe in rapid fires at all. It's just slow-mo and we flow. Let's have a little bit of fun. So, Rashi, you are a Delhi girl. Yeah, you're born in Delhi. But right now... You're a South Indian girl. You're settled in Hyderabad. Your family is in Hyderabad. Uh, I, I hear you think like a South Indian. Um, I'm sure you're going to interrupt me by saying "ledure bhai" and all that. <laughs> how much? How much of the lingo, Hyderabadi lingo, has crept up on you? How much of a Hyderabadi are you? So I began my journey in 2014 when Uhulu Gusa released, and I had absolutely no idea about Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam. Everything was alien to me. Yeah. But uh, I learned the language, I learned the ways, because I think the closest way to reach people's hearts is through their language. And that's the basic respect I could give. So I can speak fluent Telugu, Tamil, and, um, and yeah, I mean, um, I became a South Indian to a point when I realized it, when I uh, joined the Farsi team. And Raj and DK, who are Telugu themselves, they said, Rashi, you have a South Indian accent. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I mean, I've been here for seven, eight years. I was quite proud of the fact that I had an accent. And I was like, okay, let's unlearn it and become a little more North Indian. But uh, I think the thing that I have learned being an actor, especially an Indian actor, is how diverse our culture is. And everywhere I go, it's a different sort of, I meet so many different kinds of people. And uh, at heart, all of them are warm. And specifically in the industry, I feel everyone shares the same passion for cinema. Uh, so I just think I've just been one of those lucky few who have managed the North and the South well. Yeah. So all you men sitting out here, I think Rashi said something that will help you. The way to a man's heart is not through his stomach. It's through language. That's what she said. It's to speak in that particular language. And and I think you did not get the gravity of what she said. You know, I think when you first stepped into the Telugu film industry or, or the South Indian film industry, uh, of course, Telugu you learned on the job possibly, but she needed a coach. But when, when she went back to doing Farzi, back to Mumbai, and back to speaking Hindi, she was seeped so much in South Indian culture and language, they said, no, you need a language. Wow, I, I think that's too much. Give her a big round of applause for a North Indian. Once again, to learn back Hindi. You know, let's, let's start with such a lovely story. I love your story. You know, apparently, she was in a mall. That's one more reason why you had to go to a mall. She was a topper, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. She was topping in all her subjects. Yes, that deserves your respect. She wanted to be an IAS, IAS officer. She's doing really good. But it so happened she went to a mall. Parents, if you wanted children to be an IAS officer, never let them go to the mall. She went to a mall. She saw this Vaseline booth and then they told her, fill out the form, put something, we'll take a picture. You get onto the cover of Femina. I use Vaseline. My cracked dry lips do not improve. She goes to a booth, makes it on the cover of Femina magazine. Give her a big round of applause. And, and then she goes for an audition. And Shujit Sarkar casts her in, you know, he directs her in, in Madras Cafe. How intimidating was that? Did you believe you could do all that? Do you think you're destiny's child? Um, or you think, no, I was focused towards it. What do you have to say about this? I think when you're intimidated, uh, you cheat your craft, be it whichever place that you're in. Never be intimidated by anybody uh, because you have a talent that is unique to you. 
and that is something I inculcated in college when I, s I studied uh, in LSR, I did English honors, and um, I became a very confident woman, and I think that's really helped me, but yes, it was destined for me, but I don't want to take away all the hard work that I have put in as well, so I think it is a big debate whether it's you who do things or it is destined for you, but what I believe in is that um, just, I, I personally just believe in myself, and I took Destiny's hand and I walked hand by hand with Destiny's hand and I gave it my all. Like I gave it my all. Like I worked really hard. Uh, so I think in my case it's probably destiny and hard work. Yeah, both. Thank you. Hey, you know, we, we, we keep hearing uh, about legendary directors. Your first project, you work with somebody like Shujit Sarkar and, and you know, it's a very, very big name. And uh, how did you cope up with your very first assignment? Because a lot of us always have those stepping stones kind of problem. The first step is always the most difficult. So how did you cope up with that? Well, I wasn't really thinking about how I'll cope up with uh, the environment. I was very excited to be on set and I didn't feel very um, nervous in front of the camera. I felt like this was w what I was supposed to do all my life. I mean, that's the moment that I had that I was very comfortable in front of the camera, which a lot of people aren't. And um, yeah, I mean, I was just very happy to be directed by him because there's so much I learned from him because I don't come from a film school. I had absolutely no background. Uh, so I learned a lot of it on set. And yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah. Yes, uh, nobody told you Madras Cafe karegi, Madrasi movies mein jayegi, and all that. <laughs> you, you went on, you acted with some of the biggest names down south, right? You acted with Junior NTR, you acted with Danush, you acted with Ravi Teja, you acted with Mohan Lal. Uh, how was the experience? And you stood your own. You made your presence out there, right? You've done a various roles, right? And you proved your presence, you proved your roles. You acted in movies like Toli Prema, where you really held your own. That's such a brilliant performance. Uh, I, think, uh, I think a lot of people do not believe in ourselves. When we come uh, in front of our icons, we don't hold our own. How did you manage to hold your own and make your presence felt out there? I think icons are also people and uh, you just need to learn from them as much as you can. As I said, if you get intimidated, you cannot have conversations with them, you cannot learn from them. Um, I think I'll probably be in awe if I meet Shah Rukh Khan. I hope I do meet him very soon. Uh, but I still feel that um, you should just believe in yourself and have the confidence and that takes care of most of everything for you. I, I heard that. I think Shahrukh Khan deserves everybody's respect. You like Shahrukh Khan, let me do the hey, hey, hey. No, <laughs> I don't want to impress you. Um, by the way, I think since you're, you're from the Telugu film industry, Natu Natu won an Oscars. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that gives big round of applause. How does that make you feel? I mean, it's high time that Indian cinema also gets its due, but I think there's so much more talent also. I'm, I'm really, really happy that this is a stepping stone. And I really hope that a lot of our talent, a lot of our films go there and win more and more awards. Yeah. A big round of applause for all the awardees. That's definitely brought a big smile on Rashi's face. Rashi, we forgot to tell you how, yeah. I wanted to ask you, where's my award for awarding everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Your award is my handshake. Well done, Rashi. Well done. Well done, you lucky person. Now, Rashi, uh, guys, uh, I, th I think this deserves your attention. Rashi, I want to tell you that you're the darling of the nation now. When people saw Farzi, you are incredible. We're all waiting uh, for your film Yodha to come as well. When Yodha comes uh, with Siddharth Malhotra, please do not miss it, Rashi. Such a wonderful person. You came out here, you're so patient, you smiled away, you gave the awards. Very well done. Would you like to say something before we say goodbye? I just want to congratulate all the winners and um, keep striving, keep working hard and um, yeah, very happy to be in esteemed company. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. That's a lovely smile. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Can I hear a big round of applause?